Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're going medieval with going medieval. So, in our last episode, we finally discovered how useful bricks were, and we also deconstructed all of our main living quarters in the middle there. So, what we are doing, we're taking up all of our wooden roads, and we're putting down all of our brick roads, because brick roads are more useful. Stupid, right? Who would have thought it? And we've only got 40 bricks, so we can only do 20 squares. People are going to come and start sorting these out sooner or later, then. See, Aqua's tanned into them. In fact, that's Nora. My bad. Sorry. Waiting for resources. What resources are you waiting for? Clay. We have got plenty of clay. It's just going to take a while. What was that sound? Oh, Stephen's out here digging already. Yeah, we're in the middle of a bit of a cold snap. You know, if this was RimWorld, it wouldn't be a problem if I'd have been in the game for this long. Because, honestly, I tend to build giant complexes, which are all joined together so I can have one giant heating system. This game, mm, I chose to make it more of a medieval village. Which, if I say it's come back to haunt me, that's a little bit strong. It's not like it's exactly haunting me. It's just, I can't, like, keep everything warm all at once. I could start building corridors between everything, but now we're going to stick with the village aesthetic. Gemma's culinary skills going up. We've got plenty of meals. We've got plenty of drink. It seems like we are slowly starting to get through the sticks and keep the wood going. There we are. Look, there's bricks everywhere. 59 bricks. That's it, ladies. You keep the fires going. I know that sounded dead sexist, but it doesn't matter who was there. I was going to tell them to keep the fires going. The fires of Mordor, that is. Crap. Let's get that sorted, please. Yeah, we're building gigantic brick roads all the way around the base. And with all these roads gone, I can actually do that. We're going to get inundated with wood, so I might plan the next building thing. Although, really, no, I shouldn't. Really, no, I shouldn't. Right. We've got to stick to a linear design here. And that's just going to look stupid. I want the stone bricks to come around the stairs and envelop them. Um, let's drag this all the way up. And all the way up. Because we need the main road being done. I am going to get round the back of here done as well. Uh, go to there. His mining's going up even further. Let's go like that. And let's go like that. And then we need this coming down to here. This coming across to here. Yep, I know I've just made a load more hauling jobs. This comes out to here. This goes up to there. Um, that needs to go around like that. And across there you come. This cooking area can all be like that. And then around the farms, I'm just going to have one wide stone paths. Like that and like that. Anywhere else do we need? Well, you know what? No, because the stairs aren't going to be there eventually. Once this has been dug out properly, I'm going to get the stairs over here. I mean, Stephen is digging all of this out on his own. Settlers are suffering from cold. Ayumi. How are we doing for brick? I'm not sure. I think they're actually keeping in front with the brick, you know? Studley is unconscious. Aqua is unconscious. 
do the, these pair don't like cold weather, do they? No, it's got nothing to do with that. They're just bloody freezing. Sturdy wool winter clothes. Why are these bothered by it more than anybody else then? See, you're cold, but you're not like pass out cold. Studley just woke up. Stephen saved Aqua yet again. <laughs> Stephen, you're so kind to Aqua. You keep picking her up and carrying her back to base. Such such a gentleman. Um, mm, Sir Oak has turned 39 today. Happy birthday, Sir Oak. Happy birthday. I, I kind of want this to wrap around the back as well. Screw it, go like that. It can wrap around the back. And then we can shrink this zone off of there. Honestly. Shrink all of that zone off of there. So I'm not sure how big I'm wanting this at the minute. This is going to be the dumping stockpile, absolutely. I'm going to try and keep it matched to this. As soon as we start getting through the sticks, we'll be fine. Studly. It's 25 degrees in here. Why did Studly go to sleep inside? Only 4.3 degrees in there. What the hell? Come on, Studly. I can't have you all battered. <clears throat> Aqua, why do you pair keep getting up in the middle of the night? You're going for food. You're full. Oh, it's lovely and cold down in the cellar. That is nice to see. Yeah, sorry, sir. Oak. I keep making you just random jobs. Right, good. The cold snap has gone. We've still got more room on the inside of here. Is there any wood on the floor still? I don't think so. I was wanting to see if wood decomposes just from being outside. Iron ingots. Come on, keep the bricks coming. How many have we got? 13. Um, coal. Do until you have... A hundred coal do until you have a hundred and coal do until you have a hundred just because Shifo's getting resources for construction. Yeah, I've still got Shifo helping out with the um, with the construction. Just because I keep giving Studley these monster mammoth tasks to do. And he can't really get them done on his own. Oh, he can. But have you seen the job that I've given him to do? He's got, like, an entire motorway to build around the base. Why is nobody getting these sorted? Studly do that as a number one if you can. Sir Oak, do that as a number one if you can as well, please. Because <clears throat> I do want the bricks to be continuously flowing. Shifo's decided to go and start making some armour. Or deconstructing some armour. Oh, he's now he's making another shield. Takes you a bloody long time to make a shield, Shifo. I mean, I've never made a shield myself, so I wouldn't know how long they take. Did you just equip that yourself as well? Get an item to dismantle. Fine wooden buckler. Why are you dismantling a fine wooden buckler? Uh... 
Um, what? If it's under 60% durability, why does it keep putting this to 59? I want it on 60. Thank you. <clears throat> why is Shifo stuck in this endless loop here? You shouldn't be like that. Starlight, what are you doing? Oh, she's now making summer attire. Wait, why aren't you making winter? Clothing fabric? We need flax, don't we? You know what? Cancel these. Flax and herbs. Expand this. That's just a pillar there. Two, three, four, five there. I know this is going to make it a bit weird, but it's still going to keep it in keeping with the rest of it. And let's just get an herb farm. Going right there. And then if we need anything else, I could probably use this last tile here for growing something else, but I'm not sure. See, the bricks are taking absolutely ages. This is why I want people doing it, like, straight away. Because at the minute, the roads are going to slow us down a bit. Nora's now gone to dig. That is a priority five. So there's no crafting to be done. There's no smithing to be done. There's no hauling to be done. And she's going praying. Brilliant. Ayumi failed construction. What? Excuse me. Everybody else is going to sleep. Sir Oak's going to tend to all the fires. Brilliant. That's it. You lot leave Sir Oak with the, uh, the easy jobs. Why don't you? Jesus. Wait a minute. Copy. Apparently I forgot to build... Hey, Starlight's turned 44 today. Happy birthday still. Yeah, he can't really get many more fires than that going, can he? I think we need to get Shifo back to 100% researching. Because I'm not really advancing anymore. <clears throat> I, I know we've not had attacks or anything come in, but... Yeah, this it's like, what else are we doing? We're meant to be going forward here. Regional influence, 100%. Um, okay. And still, I can't do anything with these. I wish you could come and attack them or something like that, but... Yeah, I just can't do anything with it. It seems like the stone brick roads are going to radiate from this point here and just go outwards. I mean, that's fine, but... Oh, come on, Sarah. Get some more stone bricks done for me, please. I did remember to set all these two sticks, didn't I? Clay sticks. Sticks, yeah. That's fine. And we're definitely going to have enough clay coming through. Go, Studley, go. Red currants are rotting. That's fine. I've got plenty of drink, plenty of food at the minute. I mean, there's clay interspersed between all of this. So, yeah, absolutely. Clay's going to be able to keep coming in. You know what? I wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not, but... Copy. Another one there. Another one there. Go like that with the flooring as well. Let's get even more bricks. <sighs> Aqua has passed out again. Her hypothermia isn't doing well. At least it's 15 degrees in here now. It's getting better for her. There's no reason to make a specific hospital or anything for this either. Wh what is your process with where you're going to put the bricks down? 
They just seem to do it wherever the hell they want. Go, go, Yumi. Can't we tell that it's uh, winter? Um, you want these. Do until you have a hundred. You know, I'm going to change these all to 200. Edit. We don't want to be using wood. We don't want to be using wood or coal. And then coal until you have 100. Boop, boop. And until you have 200. Until you have 100. Edit. No wood, no wood, no coal. <clears throat> so basically, these will churn 100 at, at a time if we keep them all going. I mean, we're probably going to need more people digging out the quarry, but it's fine. Starlight is tailoring went up. What are you still tailoring? Oh, she's making all the summer stuff now, isn't she? <clears throat> because we need more clothing for winter stuff. On the plus side, though, it's nice that she's got through all the crap here. And she's sorted out all these hats and whatnot. Gemar is hunting. What position is hunting for Gemar? Four? Is there really no raw? Uh, there's not much meat. Crap. Until you have a hundred. There we go. We need all four of those going, please. Oh, we're getting bricks for days now. Bricks for days. I told you. We just needed a few more people and things would start speeding up. If we're getting down to the tier 5 jobs now and people are happy with... Oh my god, Studley's got nothing to do. Repeat, Studley has got nothing to do. Well, <clears throat> we've made this out of clay, yes? We're going to keep this make uh, being made out of clay. Uh, let's just pause the game a second. This would be loads easier if I could see. So this would go, because I planned this out to be five by five rooms. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So it'd be two gap, two wall. Two gap, two wall. Two gap, two wall. Two gap, two wall. <clears throat> This will be our first lot of bedrooms being built. And copy this. Because it's going to be an, a wooden floor all above it again. It seems we're going to have to have some pillars across the front. <clears throat> oh, it might be better once I've got a door in. Stupid. It's got to be a wooden door, unfortunately, but... Copy this and bring it out to there. You know what? How about we just make it a bit of a feature? I did wonder if we could make fences. There we go. And that'll need another clay bit there. That'll need another clay bit there. Copy. Then that's going to go like that. It is going to look a little bit dicey because of where the stairs are. I can't really go one around like that, can I? No, that'd look stupid anyway. It's fine. It'll be fine like that. So there's Studley's next task. Uh, misc. Fence. We have got fences. Screw it. Let's have a nice fence across the front. Um, hate to do it, but I'm putting a fence there as well. 
That looks weird as sin. Maybe I should have had fences around the farms instead of paths, but... It'll be fine like that. Really, there's no need for this behind. It's just so it can support the floor above that. There we go, Sludley. That should give you something to do. Research, what have we got ready to go? Defensive structures, fletching. Could make some longbows. Research 2, blacksmithing. Mm. I'm not bothered about defensive structures, honestly. Reinforced door, that might be nice. But to be fair, they're not getting to our thing, uh, our walls and breaching, so screw it, let's go fletching. And where's the bower table? There. Until you have... Nope. Two. Just needs 40 wood each. That's fine. We've got ridiculous amounts of wood. What is this? Steel ingots? Where are we making steel from? I can't make steel yet, can I? I am forever gold forever. I am forever gold forever. I've apparently got steel from somewhere. Have we deconstructed a weapon and that's it? How are we doing for bricks? We've got a hundred. If plenty of people get building, we might be able to get this done before uh, winter's finished. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, alright then. Especially now that I've just told Studley to get all of the upstairs room built. Oh boy, uh, it probably would look better if I did it all out of bricks, but honestly that means taking the downstairs down and building it back up, and no, is my answer to that one. <clears throat> Absolutely not. And when have you ever seen any medieval walls built out of clay bricks? If anybody's got an actual answer to that, that would be dead cool like, but I can't imagine you do. Coal. Yeah, we can't make steel yet. Sir Oak literally just tends to the fires of all night now. <clears throat> Schedule. Jobs. Sir Oak, you're not doing that first, are you? I kind of need you to be hauling first and then <clears throat> tending to the fires if everything is all hauled. Stephen isn't getting himself continuously stuck anymore. What is your um, mining skill at this point? Mining, you're up to a 13. <clears throat> it's getting better. Oh, Stephen's not very happy. Uh, lacking in religious activities and ugly apparel. Sorry, my dude. I don't know what else you want from me. Please tell me they're not. They're focusing on the upstairs. Mm, I can't fault the work ethic, honestly. Oh, I've still got Shifo tied to building, haven't I? He's fine for now. We'll leave him. We've got a bit more research done. Honestly, though, no more building until the roads are done. It's given us chance to build the bricks up, but we're nearly on our 200 bricks. So that's not exactly brilliant. Brave raw. We've still got plenty of meals. Is there anything else worth hunting? Is the question. There are still things to hunt out here. I think they've bugged, honestly. Let's re queue them. Uh, all layers as well, please. For the rabbit there. Jesus, you're not kidding. Literally nothing else to hunt. It's nice to see you guys all working together <clears throat> and getting this all built up in one fell swoop. What do you mean? Building can't be reached. Not enough allowed resource. Oh, it's because these aren't been built in yet. It'll be fine. Starlight's carpentry's just gone up. She's built a flimsy longbow. What's she doing here? She's attempting to build bucklers now. 
Right, I want to see what our star does it. Does she immediately go and deconstruct it like Shifo kept doing? Because it is dead stupid. Requires tailoring, requires smithing. Which requires carpentry. Elmo's mining skills going up. Elmo, Steven. Even. Come on, Starlight. <clears throat> what is your carpentry like? Uh, it's not the that smithing, idiot. It's not the best, but she's trying. She feels better. I just don't get why they're automatically deconstructing it straight after. It says under 60%, right? Sorry, stop. I know you're going to sleep, but... You're not. Edit. Under 60% <clears throat> hit points. How is it under 60% hit points? 60% hit points? If it's just been crafted. It should be at 100. And that one we saw Shifo make was... Um, fine quality one. Look at Steven. Consumed cooked human fl What? What? Stout. Stephen's cannibal? Where did he get cooked human flesh from? Stephen? <laughs> what? Why is Stephen a cannibal? And where did he get cooked human flesh from? Schedule. Copy paste. Steven, you should be in bed, my dude. A flimsy wooden buckler. Right, I know why that's going to get broken down, because it's flimsy. Maybe it was flimsy before, and I read it as fine. We've not really got a proper carpenter. I mean, we have got a proper carpenter. But he's currently constructing everything. Sir Oak's good at carpentry as well. Oh, he does get round to it. Sir Oak, what are you doing at the moment? Get an item to dismantle. He's still taking items to pieces. I mean, that's fine. We need people doing this still. But if there's no hauling whatsoever, he's coming to haul bricks, right? Oh, we're around to coal now, are we? Yeah, we've got 228 bricks. But you just see how fast the buildings come together. Once they actually start um, doing it in a team. <clears throat> yeah, I nearly phrased that terribly. It just mirrors the game starting to get a little bit stuttery, a bit jittery. We have got a massive command down here that's being done, so you kind of understand that a little bit. Stephen, don't tell me you've done it again. <clears throat> Where are you getting cooked human flesh from? There is no human meat anywhere. What is he doing? Is he going to dig up our... I need to watch Steven for a little bit. He's on time six at the minute. Praying. Where is he getting human meat from? Mining and digging. <clears throat> Let's go and see when he gets hungry. Oh my god, you've got a load of assistants. Mining, digging. I, I don't understand the logic to where they're mining or digging, but anyway. <clears throat> Mining and digging. It is going to take them an absolute age to get all this out. Hungry. Where is he going? Roasted meat pile. But that's stew. 
And he's going to come upstairs and eat. He's not hungry anymore. He didn't eat human meat that time. Is he just taking a bite out of people as they run past or something? I do not know what is happening. Please tell me they're getting some more of the roads done. You'd all get around so much quicker if the roads got done. Maybe I shouldn't have planned out an entire building on top of here, but me never mind. Hey, the building the fence is up as well. Just to make this look slightly better. <clears throat> like I said, they're getting some of the roads done. Not all of it, but... Again, in RimWorld, I used to do like a complex, so everything was inside. We've got Shifo, Iyumi, and Studley all building. The original three. Both doing cracking work. So we've nearly just chewed through 200 clay bricks in like no time at all. I should really be careful. I'm using a lot of clay. We're making massive amounts of bricks. And we're using massive amounts of clay for building this up as well. <clears throat> hmm. Sir Oak is praying. Let's see what he's going to be doing tonight. It has gone past 30 minutes again. So we're probably going to be wrapping this up very soon. You're hauling that there. Stephen has turned 49 today. Happy birthday, dude. It's good to see that they don't just carry one thing at a time, at least. And you're coming to grab the clay. What have we got there? Some more salt. Brilliant. Just want to see what's happening in the uh, the life of Sir Oak for a little bit. Unfortunately, you are the only uh, night owl I've got. That's going to start looking a bit stupid, isn't it, when I've got two floors. I guess it's something I've got to get used to. He's drinking, he's getting resources. Are you filling the furnaces back up? Sticks are starting to come down. We're under 7,000 now, at least. Trust me, I'm still in no rush at the minute to get any more back. And Aqua and Nora's going to come and help fill these up. That's it, you stoke the fires. Excuse me. So, if we're finishing off here, what have we done today? I've got hiccups. Yeah, I know. Brilliant timing, right? We finally started expanding basically our tower block. It's going to be a tower block by the time we've done anyway. Um, actually, two floors of this will give everybody a bedroom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Everybody will have a bed. Whether they choose to sleep in the actual bedrooms rather than the shared bedroom will be on them when we get to that point or not. Um, <clears throat> yeah, a lot of the roads have started getting done. I say a lot of the roads, not particularly. If they could just get this middle road sorted, that would be beautiful. But again, I shouldn't have... I was going to say, please tell me you're in an actual bed. I shouldn't really have planned out this second floor. Why are you building these, of all things, first? You know what? They have kind of got a quick way around. They, quite, they like using the farm route. That's fine. Each throne. If they like going that way, then happy days. Let's pause the game, so I'm just going to keep going and going and going at this rate. Um, yeah. Second floor for this is being done. We've got all the stone roads being done. Our mine is actually starting to take shape at this point. I think we still need to do a grand hall, which I reckon needs to be over here somewhere. Maybe I'll take these fences out of the middle. Or a few of these fences out of the middle and have it... I don't know. I don't know. But we need temples as well. Two separate temples for our different religious groups. Maybe the temples could come down here. Grand Hall could go over here. This still counts as a shared room, doesn't it? What do I need for a workshop? 
have at least one armorer's table. Bowers table, blacksmith. We've basically got them. I have at least two wall tool shelves. Can't have any other workstation, shrines, or beds. And then there's a library as well. So the research shouldn't be in there. Wall bookshelves? Oh! Have at least two wall bookshelves. Cannot have any of the workstation shrines or beds. The only thing that's going to cause a problem in here is this. I've got nowhere else to put it at the moment. I'm wondering if it'll speed up all these workbenches, because they're on 110% already. Which is dead cool. That's 120% efficiency, production speed. You know what? Deconstruct this a minute. Um, Studley. Ayumi's deconstructing it already. Requires a selected settler. Come and build me these bookshelves, please. I want to see if this turns into a workshop instantly. Still a shared room. Workstation boost production speed. At least one armor's table. We've got an armor's table. Bower's table. We've got. Blacksmith's Forge. That's a smelting furnace. Stone mason, woodwork. <sighs> Research. Blacksmith in. Blacksmith's Forge. That'll be why I can't get it yet. So that will need to go inside. For now, I'm going to turn one of these into research. To be fair, I could have their own little rooms up here, but that's going to be nowhere close to production, so yeah. Um, studly. Not studly. Yes, studly. Come and build me this first, please. Hey, now the roads are getting done. This is starting to look cool. Studley's construction is now 43 with the Christ. And do, 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 do until you have 30. Sorry, Shifo, but I really need you to get researching again. So I can get the blacksmith's forge unlocked. Because I want to see if we can make this a proper workshop. And then it'll all be good. What else would we need? Blacksmith's forge or a blacksmith's forge. At uh, forge, wooden workbench. I've got just a normal wooden workbench in here. Yep, woodworking bench even. Stonemasons or a sewing station. It did say or. At least two wall tool shelves. Oh. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. My bad. Tool shelves. Deer. Pottery. Tool shelf. Just 
somebody come and build these, please? I know you're doing cracking work and all, lads and ladies, but... Studley, get here! Ayumi, get here. Turn this into a workshop. Yay! Ooh, 132%, 132%, 144%. Oh, now that is cool. So we want to start making these into proper rooms. Kitchen. At least one stove, two pottery shelves, and a buttery thing. Stop. Just stop what you're doing. Stop. Pottery shelves. I hope they don't get in the way there. Studley. I don't care if you're going to sleep, you're coming to do this. Kitchen. I wonder if... Any other workstations, shrines or beds. It needs two of these. Studley. I've not got enough limestone. Mm, I need more limestone. And we can't get to this for ages yet. God damn it. Well, we're not having a proper kitchen for a while then, are we? Right, save the game for God's sake. You've passed 40 minutes now. That one thing just distracted me so much. This is why these games get me all the time. Anyway, I've already been over everything that we've done this episode. Next episode, possibly padding out these bedrooms. Maybe working on getting some more rooms. It's going to be spring, so we're going to get some fields growing. It's all going to be good. Anyway, I'll see you guys next... Well... If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more or comments, feedback. Greatly really appreciate it, as always. And in the description below, there's some links. Go take a look. The most important one being the community Discord. Blah, blah, blah. You know it by now. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.